Hello, it's Mac, and I am back with more Blasphemous. This is part two of my Let's Play series. And I'm excited because I just realized I can switch out these backgrounds on the main menu. Isn't this one pretty? What a handsome fellow. Let's continue. All right. So I have not played any more since the last recording. So you haven't missed a thing. I'm trying to retrace my steps now. I'm already lost. So there's a path that I can take up here. There's a path down here. Yeah, basically I know these games are like mazes. I don't want to go too far ahead without fully exploring before covering all the ground of the previous sections. Oh, okay. So if I want to go back, I have to go get through this gauntlet again. Oh, control. Could see what we do. Could see what we do. Take that. Took a bit of damage. I actually got enough, uh, what do you call it, atonement to upgrade again. So I haven't been this way yet. Wait a second, have I been this way? Yeah, <laughs> I guess I have. I haven't been this way yet. Right. I haven't gone up either, apparently, which doesn't make sense because I would have came from this direction. Right? Weird. Okay. So I wonder. I, let's let's try going up. Oh. Good way to do it. Oh, come on. Oh, I've got to execute. Damn it. It's a ladder challenge. Two more doors. Yeah, this is getting confusing already. Let's go all the way up. Let's go all the way up. So many doorways. Okay, we're in where all of trees wither. Ice section. Got spikies here. Too bad. What do we have here? Heart of the Virtuous Pain. Sword Hearts. Equip a Sword Heart in Mia Culpa to alter its properties. They grant powerful upgrades, but this comes at a price. Rest at a pre-do to access the, core's, the sword's core and insert a different heart. It's only one sword heart at a time. Oh, look at that. I cannot jump that far. So I must either need uh, a ranged weapon or super jump boots. If those even exist. Let's get hopping. Oh, 
<laughs> it's a little harder going back. Do I at least get to keep the sword heart? Press right trigger to dodge. Use the dodge action to crouch through small spaces and avoid physical attacks and pass through enemies without suffering damage. Cool, except that's not how I died. Wait, do I still have my sword heart? I think so. Heart of the Virtuous Pain is right here. So they say where I died. It's helpful. I should just go back to the uh, snow, snow area. Hmm. Jesus. Yeah. There we go. No, wrong way. So what happens here? Oh shit! <laughs> if I reclaim that, that's my, uh, I guess my grave. If I go back to my grave, uh, do I get a bonus or something? I don't want to risk dying here again. So I'll come back later if I don't die, that is. Not a huge fan of platforming challenges says the guy playing a, a platform game but uh <laughs> i would rather fight combat over uh combat over uh traversal challenges wall climbing press x when jumping against certain surfaces to thrust your sword into the wall while hanging press a to jump or b to jump down that's cool Oh look, we have a shrine. So I can maybe hazard the uh, ladder challenge back there now. If it's still there. Yep. Guilt fragment recovered. What does the guilt fragment do? So there's nothing for me to do here, right? Because I already got the... I have to really hang low. Oh, god damn it. I'm trying to grab the damn ladder. <sighs> Like I said, the, the, the grab hitbox for ladders is not super um, generous. When the penitent one dies, erring in his penance, a guilt fragment is anchored in the world. The weight of guilt accumulates and reduces the gain of fervor and tears of atonement, as well as the maximum fervor. Collect guilt fragments to recover or find someone who can ease your burden. Okay, so... Going back to collect these is not critical. It'd be nice. 
And if you keep dying carelessly, it will add up. Oh, yeah, that's good to know. That's really good to know. I will just be on my way then, because I don't want to keep dying at the ladders. Radius of Helzer, the poet. Yeah, tell me what this is. It's just a collectible. Okay. We have it. Was not an enemy. Contrite and humiliated be the heart, penitent one in silence. You stand before what remains of Gemini. Oh, do not fret for me. The cold is merciful, for it relieves our pain and numbs us before it leads us to our deaths. Perhaps the miracle the others spoke of has come to me. Here. In this iron tomb, lengthening distress more and more. To a promised land, you direct your march. To the place where the frozen and the burning embrace in communion. Let me ask of you the favor of bringing me a few drops of the oils that once came out of these icy olive trees. The ones that ended up scorching the faces of every pious person who ever reached the summit. As my last wish, before it is too late for me, let me feel that pain. Take this. Thanks. Now, let my numbed arm become another branch of this withered olive tree. Hurry up, I can still hear the call. The music is very melancholic. Definitely sets the mood. Take that. Seems like too far of a jump. What do you guys think? At least I got to kill you. I can't see the platform below me though. It's a problem. Goodness, I forgot the heal. Oh, yeah, it's getting hard. It's getting hard. Best to avoid those uh, 
tremor worms. <laughs> Underground. Burrowing enemies are not cool. I don't know which I dislike more. Burrowing enemies or flying enemies? Not sure which one I dislike more. them. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I didn't realize that the burrowing enemies could fly up multiple levels. I, sh I should have just known. Right. And I panicked there. I don't remember why I bounced off this game. that How many hits man yeah three hits I'm trying to fight. Stupid notifications. Hit points do you have? Oops. Jeez. Woo. You you want to die? You want to die yet? Oh, finally. My goodness. As individuals, the enemies are not too bad, but when they're grouped up...
right before they die, they, they throw one more for good measure. I gotta remember that. This looks like an enemy. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, that's bad. Hmm. Let's not go there yet. I feel like I'm too weak for certain areas of the game. Graveyard of the Peaks. Oh, there's wind. Somebody's played Ninja Gaiden on the uh, NES. Yes, yes, look at that. Somebody's played their Ninja Gaiden as a kid. I wonder if I should just try going down here. I was hoping there was like a, a shrine for saving. Oh, and there is. Salvation. What else is here? A shop? What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the first star of the night. May my eyes be blinded if I'm lying. Torn bridal ribbon, the soft white ribbon used during marriage ceremonies has been torn, thus destroying its delicate embroideries. One of the three remains of an unfinished ceremony. The wounds inflicted by a broken oath rarely ever find healing. Do you want to buy the object for 800? What the heck does it do? You know, you you maybe you wanna give me the rundown on what I'm getting for my hard-earned money. What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the first. And may my eyes be blinded. She's gonna say the same thing every time I uh, <laughs> check out her wares. Calcified eye of your edition. Eyeball belonging to. Alava Roz, the scribe, who glimpsed the truth hidden to so many eyes, so many other eyes. Its stony scrutiny reveals the vital essence of enemies. So it's gonna like highlight a weak spot or something. This is a precious treasure to me. Its value goes far beyond what I ask for it. And may I don morning black if I'm trying to deceive you? <laughs> Ember of the Holy Cremation. Ember crystallized through a long forgotten ritual. It retains some of the heat of a bonfire lit on a different land. Tempers the heart, increasing the defenses of whoever carries it. I'm down for more defenses, but this is uh, too rich for my blood. Let us be captives of the miracle, penitent one. Do not be surprised to find this merchant here. This ancient occupation requires me to be wherever I can obtain rewarding benefits. Mm -hmm. Call me Candelaria, for what I sell would make your eyes light up like the high bonfires. I will not ask you for any money whatsoever. Those forbidden tears you shed would be more than enough for me. Go ahead. Cast your darkened eyes over these valuable treasures. What I am on and may my eyes be blue. What is this can? Ew. 
I'm, I'm still not sure what this is supposed to do. I'll come back. Maybe. Oh, it's the elevator. Man, oh man, we are just like all over the place right now. All over the place. Can I fall down or am I just toast? <laughs> It'd be great if I could just hit the um, the flying prize before I before I hit the bottom there. Let's try again. There we go. <laughs> Worth it. Reincarnation is fun. Hey, right as rain. Immaculate bead. Okay, I only have capacity for two active rosary beads. What does this do? Devoid of purpose. I'm sure there'll be a purpose later. Cleanse your guilt in exchange for 200. How much guilt do I have? I have a little bit. I think I'm fine. I'm good. So this is what all these statues for, huh? Hmm. Well. Should we just take the elevator down? Let's try. And we are going down, down, down. Oh crap. We're back at Albero. Oh, I can grab that uh, casket now. Oh wait, it's not like a big secret. I could all, I could have always gone up there. There was no elevator at first though. Okay, so it doesn't really open up a huge. Ah, nice. Give it to me. Anything new to say? We gather the repelpers, these poor souls. Nope. And we just go back up the elevator now. Why would I just send the elevator down without being on it? Hmm. Now I can't go back. <laughs> that may have been a mistake.
set on that path. I can't. This guy's just so slow. I can just uh, whack away at them. I just cannot dodge through them. Oh shit! Oh, I better heal. crumbling platforms there eh? that uh, rematerialize. Oh shit. Come on. Platforming and fighting all at the same time. space. We good, we good. I can't attack. Oh, I can't attack when I'm on the uh, ladder. Most unfortunate. We're getting it. Oh, I don't have one of these bozos. Duh! Oh, and the. Meh! <laughs> Dead. Fuck! Oh god, this game. Do I still have the uh, the itch to scratch to play a platformers? That's a good question. Maybe not. I think it's a combination of platformer with Souls-like difficulty and mechanics. That's uh, maybe not the the best combination. Oh, execution. That's cool.
Fuck, man. You know, if I could at least use my weapon while grasping onto ladders, that wouldn't be quite as annoying. We will give this a couple more tries. For, for now. Then I may uh, give it a rest and come back next time. Okay, we don't have to kill this guy. We don't have to kill this jabroni. Oh, fuzz. Here we are, the most joyous of platforming combat sections. Get off the frickin'... I'm trying to attack! I'm trying to attack! You know? Fuck! Man! <laughs> this is so annoying! trying to attack the man and I'm hanging on to the wall and if not hanging on to the wall I'm grabbing onto the ladder oops I'm still hurting him. Maybe not. Big sigh. Oh, if I just stand and uh, this, okay, that's much easier. That's much easier. If only I knew beforehand. It is much more palatable. Knowing that I don't have to jump and attack them. This is... Okay, I have to go this way. There is still wind here. Okay. Well, that's annoying. We have this uh, jabroni. Who's uh, right at the edge here. Duh! I, I, oh, I gotta go all the way back now. One more try. One more try. And see if I can get to the next uh, save point. 
you know, it's frustrating, but there's something compulsively playable about it, so it's it's a little frustrating, but still within acceptable levels. Acceptable rage levels. And an attack. Thank you. Okay, we're back. We're back. Oh, Get up! Oh my goodness. This is awkward. Suck it! You made me use all my health. Okay, I'm not gonna get greedy. I'm gonna look for a save point. Damn it. I'm not supposed to go through here, or am I? Tedious. They knew. They knew players would be uh, struggling a little bit by the time they reached this point. I'm just annoyed that I can't um, slide through there. Two of them? Plus uh, a wall enemy. Sheesh. This leads nowhere. Oh, there's there's something. It's a somewhere. It's a somewhere. There we are. Muted bell. Slightly protects its, its wearer from attacks of magical nature. Okay. Good to know.
Well, I can deflect. Or parry, I should say. By parrying, I deflect. I mean. Son of a whore. <laughs> Oh my god, I was in the middle of healing. This game, I tell you, man. I, the wind was blowing at me while I was drinking my flask. And I pretty much nullified the effect of healing. Oh, secret passageway. What does this do? Oh, it increased my maximum fervor. That's nice. The discovery of secrets and various things and upgrades definitely compels me forward, even though the game itself can be quite frustrating. Like, really frustrating. of a tombstone. The fragment confers resistance to falls, eliminating recovery time. Okay. Now the wind, I'll wait for the wind to start blowing the other way now. I hope I find a, a save point soon, actually. Again. Indeed, sister of mine, our encounter is approaching. The miracle will protect me. I do not need your protection this time. Leave me alone. We're gonna fight sometime soon, bro. Covenant of Our Lady of the charged visage. Oh crap. I'm still alive. Just one HP in a dream. Oh my goodness. Do I get a save point? <gasps> Amazing. Well, I think this is as good, good of a place to stop as any. I'm weeping tears. Yeah, so this will do it for this recording of the Let's Play. Thank you once again for watching. If you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love to hear from you if you've played Blasphemous before. 
let me know what your favorite Metroidvania games are. And uh, just do stay tuned for future episodes. I'll be playing more Blasphemous very soon. Thank you once again, and I will see you all next time. Take care.